Hello, good day. Here's a quick guide on how to file your BIR Form 2307 online using AlphaList Data Entry Module. Ito po ay kailangan para ma-take into account natin yung mga winitheld na taxes sa atin ng isang company or ng ating mga customers. Kapag dineclare po natin ito ay mapapaliit natin ang computation ng ating taxes due at may iwasan natin ang double taxation. Before we start, make sure na na-download nyo na yung kinakailangan natin na program para sa pagpa-file natin ng SAWT natin. So, mada-download natin ito sa bir.gov.ph. Ito, ito yung full link. Okay. And yung kailangan natin na i-download ay ito. Alphalist Data Entry and Validation Module. Tapos, make sure nyo na rin na yung available program nyo ay yung latest version. So, para ma-install ito, double-click lang itong zip file, extract nyo, tapos click install. After installation, and since first time natin yung open yung program, make sure na i-fill up nyo yung details dito sa withholding agent. So, yung pag-fill up ng details nito is nakadepende dun sa ating certificate of registration. So, make sure na i-fill up lang natin itong lahat bago tayo mag-proceed sa pinaka-process. Step 1 is to log in your username and password at Alphalist Data Entry. Step 2, we'll click SAWT. This means Summary Alpha List of Withholding Taxes. For the purpose of this tutorial, we'll be filing under 1701Q, second quarter. So, from April to June. Ang ilalagay natin dito for the month of ay yung buwan kung ano yung nakalagay doon sa BIR Form 2307 na binigay sa atin ng company. So, depende din sa date kung kailan nila final, yun din yung i-reflect natin dito. For this, amendment return, kung hindi naman siya, uh, kung bagong filing ito, dapat no. Kung yes, uh, halimbawa nakapag-file na kayo dati, tapos may gusto kayong baguhin, why yung ilalagay? Pero since ito yung first time, lalagyan natin no. Um, dito naman sa any taxes withheld, uh, since meron tayong if a file na amount, na based dun sa 2307 BIR form natin. Kaya, yes ang ilalagay natin. So, there. So, yan. Um, change lang din natin to kung applicable sa atin. Pero since hindi, um, as is, lagay muna natin no. So, there. Then, click lang natin yung add update. Step 3, click Add. And fill out the following fields such as TIN, Registered Name, ATC, Amount of Income Payment, and Taxes with Health. So, automatic naman ata magkocompute itong Taxes with Health. Kailangan lang natin i-fill up ng tama itong alphanumeric tax code which can be found doon din sa BIR form 2307 natin. So, let's try. Okay, tapos mag-fill up tayo ng registered name. Tapos, uh, pili lang tayo sa dito sa list ng alphanumeric taxes. Pero, kailangan natin isulat kung ano yung nakalagay sa 2307. Ha? So, dun din makikita yun. Tapos, sulat lang natin dito kung ano yung 
income payment na na-receive natin sa company. So yan, ito yung magre-reflect. As you can see, automatic na nag-compute yung amount of tax withheld. So there. So yung tax rate, naka-based yun dun sa kung ano yung pinili natin na alphanumeric tax. Um, if everything is okay, just click save. And may lalabas na pop-up kung saan tatanungin tayo kung kailangan ba natin mag-add pa ng another record. If yes, just click yes. And if no, just click no. So, yan. Kapag mag-add pa tayo ng another, mapapansin nyo na magiging number 2 na itong sequence number. So, there. Pero make sure na yung i-add nating bago is under pa rin ng same month. If ever na different month na yon, kailangan natin um, lumabas na sa screen na to and mag-add tayo ng panibago under that certain month. So, exit. There. Step 4. Click Generate File. So, i-click na natin to kapag okay na tayo dun sa certain month na na-file natin. Kapag mag-file tayo another month, mag-generate tayo ng another that file. So, Click na natin for the month of April. So, yan. Save lang natin. Tapos, magkakaroon ng dialog box kung saan sabihin kung saan na-save yung ating file. Uh, I-pick note lang natin yun para alam natin kung saan natin mapipick up yung file na na-save. Step 5. Validate that file through AlphaList Validation Program. So, let's open AlphaList Validation Module. Usually, kasama po ito dun sa dinownload natin from BIR website nung nag-install tayo ng AlphaList Data Entry Program. So, here, let's just fill out the TIN. Yung TIN po natin ito, TIN. Although, kahit nakalagay na TIN of withholding agent, ang ilalagay po natin dito is TIN natin. Tapos, um, lalagay natin yung applicable na tax year para ma-validate natin if yung file na na-create natin earlier is tama. So, since SAWT yung i-verify natin, click this. Next is, kailangan natin ilagay yung file na na-generate natin dito. Yung that file. So, hanapin lang natin and then input natin yung file path niya. Tapos, indicate natin yung month, the applicable month ng filing na ginawa natin kanina. And then, let's not forget to change, if applicable, um, itong nasa taas. So, since 1701Q yung sample natin kanina, we'll choose that one. Then, click Validate File. So, there. Um, ito yung screen. Um, target natin is makita natin itong Validation Successful. And then, yung, yung notepad na magpa-pop up na nakalagay din which is No Errors Encountered. So, there. Um, if okay na lahat ng yan, we'll proceed to the next step. Step 6 is to submit the dat file at esubmission at bir.gov.ph So, halimbawa, nakagawa na tayo ng mga dat file na kailangan natin submit sa BIR. 
Uh, for this example, since gagawa tayo ng 1701Q second quarter, so dapat meron tayong that file for April, May, tsaka June. So yun, i-attach lang natin siya dito. Um, once ma-attach natin siya, pwede natin i-follow tong format na to. Pero hindi naman to strict format. Kailangan lang natin um, i-fill out yung mga needed information such as TIN, yung name nyo, and contact numbers. So, after sending the file sa BIR, ito yung una nating marireceive na email. Nakalagay dito na the BIR has received your data. Please wait for another notification as your file is still subject for validation. So, immediately, uh, makakareceive tayo kagad ng ganitong email within an hour or more or less within the day. After nito, may next tayong email na matatanggap. Ito na yung second email na marireceive nyo sa BIR entitled e-submission validation report. So, ang mahalaga lang na makita natin dito is yung nakalagay na no errors encountered. Um, if all is okay, print lang natin to para may copy tayo. Tapos, isama natin dun sa mga filings natin na itatago. So that's it. You've successfully submitted your BIR Form 2307. If you have questions, just leave a comment and we'll respond as soon as we can. Thank you!